Hey everybody, check out the new 3D printing cabinet. Light, fan, temp, relative humidity meter, and more. Let's get organized. Okay, remember how I talked about... Oh, well, by the way, welcome back to The Very Life. I'm Steve, the retired hobby tech, tech guy. Anyway, uh, remember in previous videos, or those of you who don't know, I said I was getting a cabinet, a 3D printing cabinet, and to help put this stuff vertically instead of horizontally like on the table so you know we've got tables and we got another table well i'm hoping to get rid of this table or not get rid of it but the stuff on this table will go on to the vertical cabinet that i bought that is in that big box right there and then that table will replace the folding table for our 3D printer, because when that thing prints, it rocks like it rocks <laughs> and not in a good way. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing is we'll just do a time lapse. We'll speed through putting this thing together and we'll go over it when we're done. All right, next. Okay, now it's time for you to do something. Please like and subscribe to The Buried Life. And if you find it in your heart to buy me a coffee, you can check the link in the description box down below. So let's get back to the build. Yeah, lost cool points on that one. <laughs> okay, uh, we finished. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, putting together the vertical cabinet that I got ended up taking about three hours. So there was uh, a lot of a lot of building going on with that, and I'm pretty surprised of how well it came out. I did ha end up having one crack in a back part of the plexiglass. Uh, I guess I put too much pressure on it when I was moving around and it cracked. So I ended up throwing some uh, some super glue on there. So we'll cross your fingers and hopefully we'll only have to move one more time. But I want to show you the end result. So that's who we end up having. We got paint, we got our wash and cure station over there, and then we have the cabinet itself. And then we end up relocating the other table uh, over here for a printer that will be expanded out into, uh, since we got all that space there, eventually going to be looking at getting a laser engraver. The Raleigh Lasermatic, the new Galvo diode laser, or maybe even just their MK. EW, whatever it is, uh, just get a dial laser, but the Galvo would be nice. It, that would be really, really hot. So there's that. Uh, got space for that. But over here, uh, definitely turns out pretty good. So with that, um, it's it's a pretty nice case. Uh, it definitely came out well. And I think I ended up with, uh, was able to cut down some space so we have more access to the doors there. I still need to connect up. I need to make an adapter for one of the, uh, the vent tubes to eventually go outside. But anyway, with that, let's take a closer look at the cabinet. So yeah, you can see the cabinet. Uh, definitely nice. Uh, it came out well. I decided to go ahead and put the uh, resin printer in there. It's interesting because I was also thinking of maybe putting the paint booth in here. So I could use one table just for the resin printing and then have the paint booth here. But I don't know. That That's still an option. And another option is I might get another one of these and I could just put the paint booth in there as well. But as you can see, it turned out pretty good. And it is sturdy. I didn't, I could, I could fit the K2 Plus inside of there but I didn't want to do that because of, you know, this thing 
even though it has adjustable feet on the bottom, it still wiggles and because of the high center of gravity. Um, but I think the difference between this and the table is that the table is a lot more sturdy than that right there. Uh, some of the features on this are pretty nice. So we've got some magnets on the doors, which marry up to some metal pieces there. So, uh, boom, magnetic. And then down here, if we have a power switch, which if we turn that on, what we end up getting is showing the current humidity and the temperature. And if we want to turn the fan on, we could just do that. And you can hear the fan. So we got that going on. And then if you wanted the light, we could hit the light and boom. Uh, I mean, that's a lot of light. And of course the problem is that, that comes with that is this is a resin printer. And so with light isn't really a good thing. Uh, the UV light and ambient light. So that's why I have my, my, uh, that covered up and even when I print I'm thinking about blacking these out with I don't know maybe some black paper or something like that I don't think uh, I think that'll be enough to and with the shades closed I think that'll be enough to protect it from UV light coming in and, and messing with any of the prints I still have some electrical uh, an electrical outlet left over over there so that's kind of nice but yeah, it turned out pretty good. And there's the light. Got the little cable cable chain thing there. And if I wanted, instead of having the resin printer, like I said, I could put a 3D printer in here. And it's got a couple of holes that you could facilitate. And you could end up putting spools here uh, via these brackets. So there are some pre-drilled holes so that you could hang filament off of these. And I've got a number of those, as you can see there. I just didn't put them in there. I didn't think it'd be worth it. I can get more real estate like this. And then I can also store my, uh, my resin stuff in here as well. So kind of save some space. But yeah, you could, you could definitely put a printer in there. And whether it's, it's a bed slinger, depending on the size, of course, but it's a pretty good unit. And then down here, we've got some more storage space, which ended up being pretty good as well. So yeah, that's what we end up having. A little bit more organization. Maybe I'll get another one of these. I don't know. Tell me, that's your job. Put it in the comment section down below on whether I should get another one of these or the spray booth. And that way I have the two towers, right? Lord of the Rings reference. You got that, go star. But I feel good Then I got organized and a little bit more organized than I was before. I can get rid of the one folding table and now I have that I can get rid of. The uh, enclosure for the resin printer, which actually I could put inside of there. That's still an option. So that would protect it from the UV light of coming through the window and I wouldn't have to black out the windows. Or the door. But I like it. It looks so cool like this. I mean, just being able to see it. And maybe I just do my resin printing at night. That's an option. I don't know. So many things. So many options. Uh, so with that, uh, that's going to be it. Comments. Put them in the comment section and we'll see you on the next video. Okay? Peace. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with what's going on with us. The Buried Life is where we retired in Korea. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.